Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to uh, learn about satellite antennas. Okay. So majorly four types of antennas can be used for the satellites. So those are wire antennas, horn antennas, reflector antennas, as well as array antennas. Okay. So let's see one by one. What are these wire, horn, reflector, and array antennas? Okay. So coming to the wire antennas okay so these wire antennas are the basically normal antennas okay so a monopole as well as dipole antennas comes under this particular wire antennas okay so they are very much used in very high frequencies in order to provide communication for the telemetry tracking command and monitoring subsystem these wire antennas are suitable for covering its range okay of access to provide signal strength in several directions or you can also call it as in order to provide a good amount of signal coverage or signal strength in all directions okay so that means wire antennas can be considered as omnidirectional antennas okay so whenever these particular wire antennas are connected to any kind of module okay it can communicate with higher frequencies for a longer distances longer distances is also uh, nothing but the huge kilometers of distance. That means uh, you can able to establish like uh, GPS coordinates. Okay, so we can uh, see these kind of wire antennas for the GPS modules, which you use for uh, many applications purpose as well. Okay, so these are considered as the wire antennas. Coming to the horn antennas. Okay, so this will be uh, different in shape. Okay. So the aperture will be somewhat uh, different. An antenna with an aperture. Aperture means it can be considered as an open type uh, or uh, a prism, open prism kind of thing. Okay. So which can spread the signal very much easily in several direction or wide direction. Okay. So so an antenna with an aperture at the end can be termed as aperture antenna okay aperture antennas are nothing but again nothing but horn antennas only okay so the edge of the transmission line when terminated with an opening radiates energy okay so this particular antenna whenever it is terminated with an opening okay so it will be a wide open mouth kind of uh, construction for this particular aperture antenna which radiates energy in several direction okay so this opening, which is an aperture, makes it an uh, aperture antenna. Okay. So aperture antenna is again nothing but uh, the concept of horn antenna only. Horn antenna is a an best example of an aperture antenna. It is used in satellites in order to cover the more area on the earth. Okay. As you see the uh, construction of this particular mechanical construction of this particular antenna. Okay, this particular antenna can cover as it has got longer aperture, it can cover more area on that particular earth. Okay, so these particular horn antennas are used in microwave frequency range. As we all know, all the signals with some gigahertz of frequency are called microwaves. And these antennas majorly used frequencies of gigahertz, which are nothing but again microwaves. Okay, so same feed horn can be used for both transmitting and receiving the signals okay so a device named duplexer which supplies this two signal duplexer is nothing but it's a switch uh, used at multiple places like uh, radar systems or the satellite communication systems with this particular switch is located at the antennas end okay so whenever this particular switch is in the transmitting mode it keeps on transmitting the signal using an antenna and whenever this uh, duplexer is in the receiving mode, it keeps on receiving the signal from the uh, antenna. Okay. So duplexer, a single duplexer uh, module can both act as a transmitting mode as well as receiving mode. Okay. So this helps in separating the two signal, transmitting signal as well as receiving signal. Okay. Coming to the array antennas. Okay. An antenna when individually can radiate an amount of energy. If you see a diagram over here, okay, there are multiple lines, uh, horizontal and vertical lines of antenna. Each line or each uh, length rod is considered as one antenna. Okay, an antenna when individually can radiate an amount of energy. 
in a particular direction. As we know, a single antenna or a single length of a small rod antenna can radiate an amount of energy in any direction, okay, according to our requirement, okay. This helps in better transmission, okay. So, if at all more number of antennas are combined together, okay. So, and uh, by adding few more elements to it, okay. So, it produces more efficient output, okay. So, a combination of single small components of antennas are combined together and uh, we are transmitting or receiving some sort of energy such that uh, it can radiate an amount of energy in any kind of direction or, or in any direction or in a particular direction. This is especially to get an efficient output, okay. So, it is an exactly this idea when lead to an invention of array antennas, okay. So, array antennas are used especially in the satellite communication to form multiple beams from single aperture. Using a single module or a single huge antenna, it will be having an array of antennas which is nothing but multiple antennas where each single antenna will be radiating its own energy in its own direction such that we can form multiple beams using a single aperture, okay. That is what exactly an array antenna is used for, okay. And coming to the last one, reflector antenna. This is the antenna most popular and most widely used antenna, okay. So, this particular reflector antenna are suitable for producing the beams, okay. So, this particular beam will be having a more signal strength and also can be transmitted in a single direction or one direction, okay. So, uh, the main advantage of using these parabolic reflectors or the parabolic antennas or the reflector antennas is to increase the gain of an antenna, especially with respect to the satellite communication system. If at all you want to have a point-to-point -point communication, that too with good signal strength, okay, uh, the best way is to use a reflector antenna or the parabolic antennas, okay. So, if a parabolic reflector antenna is used for transmitting the signal, okay, first what happens is the waves comes out of the focal point. So, this one, this is a focal point. You can uh, see the same thing in your uh, uh, DTH TVs and all those things, right. So, this is a focal point, okay. And uh, it uh, it strikes the parabolic reflector. This is a parabolic reflector, okay. So, now uh, by this what happens, the wave gets reflected into the wave front. It moves, the waves will be projected into the forward. If at all the same antenna is used as a receiver, okay, the electromagnetic waves comes and hits the shape of this particular parabolic antenna first. And from here, the signal will be reflected into the feed point, which is the major center point, okay, of this particular antenna, okay. So, like this, uh, this particular reflector antenna uh, works or the parabolic antenna works. Even though it is transmitting or receiving, the reflections of the signals takes place with respect to the parabolic antenna, which helps in a good communication system. It captures every signal using that large dish, okay, and it gives to the feed point. Once it takes the signal from the feed point, it works as an antenna. If it is working as a receiver, it from the, it reflects all the signal which has got on its plate to the feed point again, okay. So, the dipole or the hall antenna which acts as a receiver antenna, its feed receives the signal and to convert it into electrical energy, and forward it to the receiver circuit. Of, of course, any signals once you get through an antenna, it will be converted into an electrical signal according to the requirement and it forwarded to a receiver circuit, okay. This is what's happening with respect to uh, reflector antennas, okay. So, these are the major uh, four antennas, reflector antennas, which we are again calling it as parabolic antennas or the parabolic reflectors array antennas where the multiple antennas are combined together, where each beam is uh, dissipated using a single antenna, okay. And horn antenna based on its shapes, it will be having a greater aperture, uh, which helps in propagation of the signal. And satellite antennas, which are very much 
uh, helpful for the communication between telemetry tracking command and monitoring subsystem. Okay, so all these kind of antennas are majorly used for the satellite communication system. 